What's up YouTube, Milm here with the next code tutorial on how to use Xcode. It seems pretty simple, but it's more of a tutorial to let you know what I'm saying in my other tutorials so you don't get lost. Um, so you don't need to follow along with me here, this is just a tutorial just to kind of show you what I mean when I do stuff. Um, so I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible, so I'm going to open up Xcode. Um, and most of the time you'll either see me open up Xcode like I just did, or um, there'll be a file on my desktop over here and uh, I'll open up that depending on what tutorial it was from. So uh, there you go and as you can see here's uh, the normal screen I come to. I normally say create a new Xcode project um, and I'll tell you which one of these to select on the tutorial we'll be doing. For now I'm just going to do a view based, uh, call that test. I will always tell you you know which ones to choose and all stuff like that so don't worry and I'll save it to my desktop um, and yep when this uh, screen opens up here I will either make it bigger using the plus or I will tell you to drag any resources in that we need i.e. images or sounds um, so for now I'm just gonna make that bigger and uh, as you can see there are uh, some folders on the side here and uh, they there are normally four that you start with, and uh, they are the app delegates dot h dot m and the view controllers dot h dot m. Now the dot h means header file, and that's where you declare everything. So if we have a look in the delegate here, you can see it declares the window, and then the m file means main folder or main file. Sorry. Um, and that, that's why you use the window and tell it what to do. So if we go into the main file, we can see here it, it makes the window, so you can see window here, um, and it makes it, it adds a subview to it, which is the view controller, which is also added if I go back to the H in here as well, you can see the view controller is added. Um, so there you go, that's if I say .h or .m, uh, it means go to those two files. So yeah, and uh, just to let you guys know, when I say add an outlet, it's always in between these two brackets here. Always in between these two brackets. Outlets never come outside of these brackets here. And uh, actions always appear outside these brackets down here. Um, so yeah, that, there you go guys. Just a quick tutorial just to let you know how I use Xcode so you can follow along with me in my videos and you don't get lost. Make sure you stay tuned and look out for the IB or Interface Builder tutorial on how to use that and how I use it so you can follow along on my videos. Um, and that should appear here on one of my uh, annotations. Thanks for watching guys and see you in another video.